hello guys so today we will see how to create warm simulation in Houdini using Vellum as you can see here on my screen I have created this so let's dive into Houdini and see how to create this so first take a geometry node and here take a cube node and set the orientation to z axis scale it down the radius to 1.5 and make this around a little bit bigger and then take a, a polyfill node and use here triangles or uh, triangle fans uh, here in the row increase it to 8 take a soft transform node we have to make this part a little bit up before that let's increase the y center value to 1 so that not 1 let's keep it to 0.5 now use this two area and here in the pivot transform write dollar gcx dollar gcy dollar gcz and increase this to something like this and yeah, something like this now you take a uh, another soft transform node and remove all the previous value and here choose the last three points and make this something move it to z axis take a tet confirm node and set the max that scale to 0 0.02 now we have 503 tetrahedrons now select the vellum constraint node here in the constraint type we have to choose tetrahedral stretch and here in the stiffness we need to keep it to 1 now uh, take a point deform node connect this to vellum constraint and this will go to polyfill node and this will go to point deform so now our tetrahedrons have been uh, point deformed like our uh, soft transform now we have to take attribute warp node connect vellum constraint to first and the point deform to second input here we have to do some sign function so we need to take a constant node we set the float value to 50 now take a multiply node we connect this to input 1 and connect this frame value to input 2 now we have to take a sign node and connect the product to radian now uh, we need to take a multiply node and connect this to multiply and we have to promote this parameter let's name this as scale now take a import point attribute node here in the input choose first input and we have to import our position duplicate this node and here in the input select the second input now we have to take a mix node we connect this first one to input one and the second one to input two and this multiply value will go in bias now this will go into position now if we set the scale value to 0.5 this will look like this something strange is happening that uh, this is 
going in the negative direction as well so to fix this what we can do is we can take a add node and now we have to take a constant and we have to add value of one now you can see this is not going in the negative direction now uh, we have to take a vellum solver node and connect this here now uh, here if i play this we have to turn on ground position and this will look like this fix this kind of issue what we need to do we have to go in vellum constraint node and turn on this preserve volume and in the model we have to choose non-linear now if i will play this this will be a kind of hard soft body now we have to add this animation into our simulation to do this dive into the vellum solver and take a pop warp node pop warp connect this to the force and here we have to first we have to go in the input and then here we have to choose soft data soft data dive outside and add a null load here and pop out duplicate this and connect this to the vellum constraint and you can write geo here copy this first one geo and in the input one we have to paste that and the warp out will go into output input two now dive inside the warp node we have to do basic subtractions only like position subtraction take a input import point attribute node and here from the input choose first input and we have to import position duplicate this choose the second input now take a subtract node we have to subtract input 2 with the input 1 so the warp will go into first input and this will go into second and then take a multiply node and for the input to uh, choose promote parameter and here we can give this name to scale and the product will go into force not velocity force now if i go one level up and set the scale to four you can see this will move like this but currently it is very fast and it is also not maintaining the shape uh, to fix this we can take a pop a drag node and pop a drag node and we can merge both of this now if i will play this this will be slow but uh, it will still not behave like a worm as you can see this is going over there and so to maintain it its shape we can take a clamp node here and clamp this multiply value to maximum value to 2 now if i will play this now you can see this is working like a worm but the main problem is we have to since worm travel very slowly so we can reduce the time scale to 0.7 and here in the forces we have to turn off this built-in wind and we can turn on increase the velocity damping to 0.3 this is working like a worm and here uh, in the advanced tab, tab we can turn on this two secondary pass constraint and multi pass
we can increase this we can increase the scale to 5 and we can also increase this to around 7 let's keep it to around 6 only now uh, we can cast this out in the file cast node and save it to disk polyfill node we can choose subdivide and increase that division to now uh, we can take a point deform node and connect this to this will go into second input and this will go into to fix this kind of issue we can increase the radius to something like this now we will have the warm simulation now you can apply texture and everything and render it out so thank you guys for watching if you like this tutorial make sure to hit the like share and subscribe button also support me on Patreon. Thank you.